Hi, in this uh, video, we are going to see about uh, disk scheduling algorithm that is FCFS disk scheduling algorithm. As the name suggests, your FCFS is nothing but the first come, first serve algorithm. So, it is one of the simplest disk scheduling algorithm. So, this algorithm is uh, uh, somewhat fair, but the main thing is that it does not provide the fastest service. So, it has uh, this particular algorithm has its own advantage and the disadvantage. The, when we go for the advantage, all the requests that is coming in, okay, all the requests that is coming in will be serviced sequentially, okay. So, there is no starvation at all, okay. That is the main advantage of your FCFS algorithm. So, when we go for the disadvantage, it will reduce the seek time and it does not provide the fastest service okay so we will see one example for this fcfs disk scheduling how it is done okay so here in this example i have a disk that contains 200 tracks okay the tracks rep, uh, ranges from 0 to 199 okay i have a disk that contains 200 tracks okay so i have a queue okay in that queue the request are there okay so this is a queue and these are the request okay the queue request is this one and then i have a disk head okay that disk head is initially located somewhere okay so i have uh, taken that initial head location as 53 my main aim is to find the total head movement so what we need to do is i am just going to represent my disk tracks that 200 tracks okay so i am just drawing a line because i can't uh, represent it as a circle okay i can't put 200 circles there so i am just going to draw a line from 0 to 199 that represents my 200 tracks okay and then in the question it is given that disk head is initially at 53 okay initially my disk head is here that is at 53 okay and then from 53 i am just going to service all the requests that is coming in sequentially okay whichever comes in first i am going to take that request and i am going to service that first okay so what is my first request my first request is 98 okay so here is my head and i am moving it to 98 okay and then comes my second request that is 183 now my head is in 98 i am moving it to 183 and now it is in 183 my next request is 37 from 183 i am moving to 37 and my next request is 122 from 37 i am moving it to 122 my next request is 14 from 122 to i am moving it to 14 and then from 14 to 124 from 124 to 65 and from 65 to 67 so all the request has been serviced right so in case of your fcfs algorithm everything will be serviced all the request will be serviced it won't suffer from starvation so here in this case all these requests have been serviced okay so once this is done I need to find out the total head moment. So, how I will find out the total head moment? I am just going to take these two. Okay. So, this is where my head was initially. And then I moved it to 98. Okay. So, 98 minus 53 plus 183 minus 98 plus 183 minus 37 plus and then 122 minus 37 plus 122 minus 14 plus 124 minus 14 plus 124 minus 65 plus and then 67 minus 65 okay so this is how i am doing it so when i minus everything and when i add it it is 640 so my total head movement is 640 Okay, this is your FCFS algorithm. So, if you have any doubts in this, you can just comment on the video. Thank you.